happen in that move from start to finish. All right, you can't just jump to the end product of the finished part of it. What got that set up and all the little motions and detailed things into this move. The good thing is with technology now, you can break this stuff down, watch it over and over and over, and analyze it. All right, going off the near side, near side. Near side, so I want to be able to attack both sides of the body. It's just like on our feet. I want to be able to attack left side, right side, depending on the lead leg, what you're comfortable with, single high crotch. It's the same on top, all right? If I can only turn to one side of the body, it limits me. So I'm going to go off a near side chop. Near side chop means as soon as I go and I go to chop, this guy goes along, basically tries to fight the chop, you know, when he's on top, to like get that arm straight and back pressure so, you know, it stops my chop. You know what I'm talking about? So if I go to chop you, yeah, he kind of goes long, just kind of locks that out, all right? This is where this move will come into play, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack the head again. Again, everything that I'm trying to do is weaken his body, all right? So if I attack his head, i got to turn his head and make his body weak, all right? But by, by being here, he's strong. So I'm going to make sure I come out, I attack his head. He's going to feel pressure all the way down. But at the same time, I have to have awareness that I'm not locking his body out. And what I mean is that at the end of the day, I'm trying to go for a near side crater. If I don't allow this knee to come up, I can't get my near side cradle. Go ahead and give me a hand. When I turn here, and this, I'm trying to get his knee to pop up to the ceiling here by what I'm doing pressure. If I don't take pressure off from something that I'm doing, this knee will never come up. So you've got to understand this concept of what I'm trying to, and I want to show you that before we get there. So as I chop, right, and he back pressures into me, I'm going to keep my tight waist, and I'm knee bumping him, all right? And I'm going to keep knee bumping him as I attack this head. And this is the move, basically, the head, attacking the head. Guys are going to come here, you're going to grab the chin, and you're going to do this, it won't work. Other guys are going to do this, it's not going to work. I want to hold the head like a football. You guys that play football or just screw around on the beach, same concept, all right? So I attack this head right here, and I'm going to take my elbow, and I'm going to try to pull it to my hip. The pressure of doing this in my tight waist is going to bring this knee up by me pulling to me here, all right? Right now, if I stay where I'm at, he can't bring that knee up. But if I open my own hips right here and this knee comes to the ceiling and I keep pulling, he can open this knee and I can get my lock right here by what I did. So it goes knee down, knee up. Knee down, knee up. Knee down, knee up. I open the door and I allow this knee to come up to get my lock. All right? So as I'm chopping, all right, and I'm pressuring it into him, I'm going to attack the head. I keep this tight waist constantly, and I'm driving. He can tell you, if I'm really doing this, I'm pulling on a deep tight waist, and I'll also have the knee blocking the back, because he's trying to stop me from chopping him, so he's back pressuring in. The pressure together makes this move work. The combination of all this pressure makes this work. So as I attack this head, my elbow is going to come to my hip, and if I'm in a match and I don't like this guy, I'm going to go as hard as I can to really get this knee to pop up. I won't do it to him because it's my partner but I'm going to pull this to my hip. I feel this knee starting to come up. I'm going to release. Yes. See what he did? He brought this up because it hurts, right? There's a lot of pressure going to your back. All right? All I'm going to do now is come underneath and I'm going to get my lock. Elbow's going to go tight. Here. Elbow's going to go tight. Right here. You'll see some things I'm doing. All right. Watch this. Here. You bring that knee up. No, other knee. Inside. Here. Once I get my lock, if I keep this elbow, go ahead and bring your head up, head and chest up, I'm not going to be able to turn them, right? So I have to make sure before that gets there, it's too late at this point. All right, go ahead and drop that head. Because I already blocked it off, right? And I get my lock, bring that knee up here. As soon as I get this lock, I'm basically taking my forearm almost over his head if I can get there. If I can't, then I'll just settle for my elbow over his head. And this stays tight to my hip. If that head comes out, I'm done with this cradle, basically. All right, so I have to make sure I protect myself. This controls the move, all right, head position. Same thing on our feet. Whoever has better head on the head position a lot of times is going to win. Same thing here, all right, if I don't control his head, he's going to win this position. Chop, attack the head. I'm ripping, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. He brings that knee up. I come out and I get my lock right here. Boom. This is tight, all right. He goes flat. We're going to go into a finish from here, all right. There's a lot of different things to do in finish. Um, I want you to get this lock and then come back and work on a finish. Set this up one more time. Right. Near side, far side. So now that we're wrestling, I can chop here. All right, I can chop, tack, 
bring this pressure, pull, 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 pull. Knee comes up, I sneak. I get my lock. Keep that head in tight. Alright? Get the slack and we're gonna do a couple finishes. Alright, let's go. One, two. Three, five. 